Hey everybody, this is Melina from ScrapbookMMA.com and me, Crafty Scrapper, here on YouTube and Instagram. We have a lot to cover in this video, so I'm going to try and get it all done, get it going really quickly. Thank you so much to all of my subscribers and thank you to my Buy Me A Coffee um, contributors. Uh, Y'all don't know how much I appreciate that. And everything that is donated to my Buy Me A Coffee link um, I use that money to put money back into product so that I can show you more things here on YouTube. Today we're going to go over some ephemera storage uh, and organization ideas, uh, or organizational ideas. <laughs> and um, I'm going to show you what I put my full sheets of ephemera that you know has to be fussy cut or cut with a machine. Uh, if it's a full sheet, I'll show you how I uh, store that if it's um, little bitty pieces I'll show you how to store that um, also I'm going to be showing uh, a little bit of happy mail I'm going to be showing the um, December e-club kit and those have been shipped out so if you are a subscriber you are going to love this kit and if you're not a subscriber I think we actually have two left over and those will be going up on the website um in the next couple of days but we just need to make sure that everybody that's a subscriber gets theirs first before we put any extras up then i'm going to be showing you um what is new and maybe a little bit improved in the shop and um first off i have a question for you i had uh some people that use this scotch i call it atg because that's the um, acronym advanced tape glider i have some subscribers that have been asking about this um, and you can get this and the refills um, off of amazon we used to carry this in the shop but they're just not as popular as they used to be so um we i even buy my refills off of amazon now um but i will link that below i have my amazon store front link below and it goes directly to things that i use in this video but i will leave the direct link to this and the refills that i use let me get one of the refills and show you there's one of the refills so this and these um, are listed in my Amazon storefront, and I will leave the link below for that. I wanted to get that out of the way real quickly because I have had some questions about that and where I get my refills because people have them and they can't find refills anymore. So um, the refills I use are not Scotch brand, and they work just as well, in my opinion. So, all right. Ephemera. Digitals. So... I love digitals. There are some people that do not like digitals, and that's totally fine. If you don't like digitals, you know, that's totally your preference. But I love digitals. Um, it's a way for me to inexpensively get a collection that I might not could have afforded, uh, where it uh, be like a physical uh, whole paper pad collection with, you know, ephemera and but um, I wanted to show you when I am done with a project and I have some full sheet things left over from my digitals. That's that grungy ticket freebie that's on my Buy Me A Coffee um, website. And then here's some more tickets that I printed off. These are the grungy vintage tickets from uh, Betty's Custom Design. And then there is that um, freebie of the postage stamps that Betty made me that's on my Buy Me A Coffee website. And when I have full sheets, and I'm talking about, I consider this a full sheet because it's still pretty together. If I had cut more than two tickets out of, or two tags out of this sheet, I would have um, done what I do with my smaller ephemera. But since it's pretty much still intact I have these envelopes of such that are 
pretty big stand-up envelopes. I think they're 13 by 13, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, 13 by 13. And they are from, <clears throat> I don't think they're going to have the name on the back. Let me look at this box up here that I've got. Here we go. They are from Storage Studios. It's a pack of three, and I have these listed, linked uh, in my um, Amazon storefront also. I absolutely love these, um, well, I call them envelopes just because they're huge kind of pocket kind of things, but um, they're actually like sleeves, and you can use them in these things that are also from storage studios so this is i don't know if i will be able to get all of that in frame and move some stuff over this is the little stand up see see it from the side and it comes down and then these fit inside of these i'm off camera but i'm just putting it on the inside so you can see they fit on the inside you can even label them so this is what I keep my digitals in and you can keep things in this without these as you can see I have some older Coco Daisy kits in this one but these fit nicely down in here and you can get a bunch in one of these and I will also link these in my um, Amazon storefront let's see it's got you can put it on the shelf and it's got a nice pull there i want to sit it up on my desk so you can see it move some stuff over see i've got you pulled in so quick so uh close that you can't see it all but there it is and mine's bulging out because i do have quite a bit of stuff in it but anyway that gives you an idea and that is how I store my full sheets of ephemera. Whether it be digital or not, um, that's how I store uh, ephemera sheets and things like that. And even paper, because these are 13 by 13, if you have some 12 by 12 paper, you could store it in here too. Now, cardstock is a different animal <laughs> altogether because these are thin, so it wouldn't be able to hold too much cardstock, but if you had some thin, 12 by 12 papers that you wanted to keep together like they're from one collection but you've lost the sleeve that they came in from the manufacturer you could also store them in this i love these things but this one and i don't have my labels made i should make my labels but this one is my my porch prints sleeve and then i have one that is just um labels word labels things like that so if you see here these would have been in my word labels sleeve but now i have them all cut apart and i need a different way of storing them because if i were to put this sheet that's all cut up into this it's just going to get crumpled and ruined so we don't want that and I will show you in a minute. See this one? And it's on that premium cardstock. So I don't want to put it down in any of my sleeves because it's just going to get ruined. Here's some more examples. I have little bitty bitty pieces left over. So I'll show you that in just a minute. But this is my everybody else. And I need to make one specifically for Betty Renfro because I have so many of her digitals now that she needs her own just like um, my porch prints needs its own. So I'm going to do that. Let's go ahead and open this up. And like I said, these are linked in my Amazon storefront. And I will leave you a direct link in the description box below. So, Betty's Custom Design on Etsy. These are 
a product of her beautiful imagination and I just love her digitals so I'm making Betty her own sleeve and then I will um, have one of the storage containers that they fit into and I'm going to put all of my digitals in that one storage container easy easy organization and it's wonderful I love it okay so I know that I have some of Betty's stuff down in here and I will go through all of this off camera later but just to pull out a few things that are hers let's see here we go there's another little bitty something of hers that I need to cut up and put in my small ephemera storage so this and this I knew would be pretty protected as long as I put it up against some stuff. So here's some of her grungy butterfly tickets, those beautiful rose tickets. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is right up my alley, her postcards. I love these digitals. And I printed these on some ivory cardstock, and we have that in the store. If anybody doesn't have ivory cardstock to print on, that makes some of the prettiest vintage looking pieces, especially if you want to use them for journaling cards and things like that. So there you go, Miss Betty. You've got your own little storage container. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, this one will be my everybody else so i've got one for my porch prints i've got one for uh betty's custom designs and then um i've got one for everybody else and one that is just word labels and this is a bunch of uh tracy fox and nancy's fancies in this but um and even some scrapbooking with me ones in there but that's just word labels so that is what works for me as far as my digital ephemera sheet and i wanted to share that idea with you and i will like i said that one up there is that i just showed you is full of cocoa daisy stuff so i will open up a new one uh, container box and put these down in it and put it on my shelf and that is my organization I love that it helps me so much because I am a scatterbrain at times so that really really helps me now for all of these little bitty bitty pieces I'm going to put my what I'm going to cover what else I'm going to cover in this video off to the side there as far as my little bitty stuff I have this and I also have and I have a um, video for how I made this ephemera holder but I also have a um, binder three ring binder that's got sleeves in it and I can put things down in it too but itty bitty stuff for that big binder sometimes gets lost so I found that my little bitty stuff works better if I keep it in this and if you can keep it upright it's even better because when you lay it down things tend to fall out so for this stuff like I would go ahead while I'm watching TV or whatever at night uh, after supper that's our quiet time around here around this house and I would go through and just have a little pile like this so I'll I might do this tonight a uh, little pile like this and I just start fussy cutting it all out and I have my ephemera holder beside me and then I just start going through and organizing so this is all little stamped images so if I have a stamped image in here I'll put it down in there um, there's some tickets I have more tickets here and so like this i just left those together that's some more word labels there's some more stamps i need to organize this a little bit better but like that is butterflies so if i have any butterflies that i'm fussy cutting out they will go in the butterfly section of my ephemera holder this is a little ticket and I might put this down in here. Those are those handmade stamps that I 
or faux postage stamps that I made in my M Scrap Busters. And um, then that's the little pieces that I didn't do any more on. I kept those too. I keep everything. Uh, there's more postcards from Betty Renfro that I had cut out. And I did that while I was on vacation uh, this past summer. So, tickets. And, you know, I don't fussy cut everything out all the way. You know, I just kind of get it small enough that it'll fit in there easily. Of course, if you want to fussy cut it all the way down, go for it. Do whatever works for you. But like this one, just kind of cut off all the little jagged edges or cut it all the way down. It's just according really to what size um, you're needing it for whatever project you're working on. So I guess that's why I don't fussy cut all the way sometimes when I'm putting in for just storage and it's not directly going into a project. So then um, ticket here. Tickets will go there. I've got more tickets to put here. And then these, you know, I'll put in there somewhere. I have plenty of empty space, especially in the smaller side, on the smaller side. The larger side is getting pretty full. But that's how I keep up with all of my littles. Because sometimes, and even if you're not working with digitals, like these stamps here are not digitals. They're actually stickers. And I lost the packaging that they were in. So I just put them in my ephemera holder. So like if you have, let's get this. Say you had some Tim Holtz die cuts out and accidentally threw the packaging away. You could just go through an ephemera holder and put all this little stuff in the ephemera holder. It wouldn't be all together in one collection, but a lot of his stuff, especially the die cuts, don't all coordinate anyway. It's all different stuff. It's just a, a great little plethora of things in one little die cut pack. But you could put it all through there and you wouldn't even have to worry about keeping plastic or anything like that in your storage containers that you have. So that's how I keep up with all of my littles. So I'm going to put this off to the side and tonight I will finish cutting that stuff down and put it in my ephemera holder. All right, so happy mail. Um, I got this the day after I did that video on the Daphne's Diary uh, 2022 planner I got this in the mail and they're from the Netherlands so it wasn't like she saw my video and mailed it out and I got it the next day no <laughs> before I even did my review video on her 2022 planner or diary um, she had already sent me out more stuff and I had never heard of Daphne's diary and please nobody get offended by that I I love her products now that I've seen it, but I don't recall ever hearing of Daphne's Diary. And I've been getting some comments about, I can't believe you didn't have Daphne's Diary. And, you know, they've been out forever and they have really good, great products. And there's a lot of high-end YouTubers that only use Daphne, Daphne's Diary. And I was like, wow, I feel even more privileged to have gotten half more happy mail from her so or from that company. So... I wanted to share with you what I got and I have been told that if I didn't have one of their magazines I needed it well guess what that's what they sent me look at this I'm so excited it says with love that's just a nice little piece of ephemera to use later on week planner I absolutely love this and um, if anybody knows me personally, you know that we have a son with autism. And I have to make a um, menu, and it is magnetized for the refrigerator. And so that way he knows each night when he comes home from, if he has worked in the shop or worked with his dad, when he comes home and he gets his shower, he goes to the refrigerator and he knows, buddy, what we're going to have for supper. And he adores that. He is very schedule 
oriented. So this is a little blessing. I, I might even put me a magnetic strip on the back to put this on the refrigerator also and um, put our um, weekly plans because we do tend to travel a lot with our um, singing groups. So if he's got that at a glance, he's going to love that. Thank you so much for sending me that. And it's a good thick, thick one too. Love that. Uh, Christmas paper ball. This is a little catalog, but it has all the pieces and parts for you to make your own three-dimensional Christmas ball. Look at that. It has the directions and everything. I love that. So cute. And my daughter, I think, would love to, um, cut all that out and put it together that is so darling i love that very very cute and we still have time to get that done 17 days till christmas y'all 17 mm. and then here is the happy 2022 daphne's diary uh magazine now it this is number eight from 2021 um, and if you are UK, Ireland, it looks like $6.99 euro, and then, um, or I hope I'm saying that right, I hope I have that emblem correctly, uh, and Australia $13.25, and you might think, oh gracious, that seems high for a magazine, wait till you see some of this, it is ridiculously crazy good, some of the stuff that's in here, and this paper, okay, so the cover is glossy, but the pages inside are not. And so this can be used in your journals. And look at that print on there. That is so cute. And you know what this reminds me of? The Edith Holden books. It's that kind of print. This is gorgeous. Y'all had an fantabulous idea when you started this. Everybody at Daphne's Diary, you're, you're crazy good. Geniuses. Uh, look at all this. Little pictures you can use in your art journaling, in your scrapbooking, your junk journaling. Crazy good vintage -y looking stuff. This is gorgeous. Okay, we've got recipes. So cute. I mean, it's got, look at that. It's like pattern paper that you can tear out and use. That is so cute. It's got all kinds of little um, designs where you can make your own projects cut from this paper. And it's all like paper, paper. It's not glossy. So it's good stuff. So if you have a chance to subscribe to Daphne's Diary. Look at that, how cute. If you have a chance to subscribe to a Daphne's Diary magazine, uh, go for it because it has got some awesome stuff in it that can be used in your paper crafting. I mean, even the cover. So the front cover and the back cover have like a kind of rough exterior, but it's neat feeling. The only glossy that I saw was the inside covers. That is glossy, but this is not. And let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. That is crazy. I love it. Uh, for Father Christmas only, appear once. Can you find them? It's like a Where's Waldo? Oh my gracious too cute uh let's see and yes the back cover is glossy but everything else is like paperweight uh, maybe 28 or 32 pound maybe yeah it's awesome i love it love it, love it. i will link the other daphne's diary uh video that i have up in the description box below uh it is the 2022 planner uh diary 
So let me get that off to the side. And then I got this. It is from Maureen Johnson. I have not opened it up. This is always a little scary. Of course, I can edit out my video, but this is usually scary because sometimes you don't know who you're getting it from, which I know Maureen. Um, Mom has got quite a few uh, Happy Meals from her, but um, people always want to see the Happy Meal just opened up right on screen, but um, especially if you don't edit your videos, that could be scary. You don't, you never know what people are going to send you. But like I said, I know, we know Maureen and she is wonderful. Look at that little nativity scene. Too sweet. For unto us a child is born. Little card. Joy to the world. Merry Christmas. Love Maureen Johnson. And then she has a little note. Um, I wanted to wish you and your family Merry Christmas. I enjoy watching you and your mother on YouTube. Uh, I think my husband and I will be home for Christmas. We were for Thanksgiving also. I hope and pray you and your family have a blessed Christmas and New Year. Love, Maureen Johnson. Thank you so much, Maureen. Ma Maureen, sorry. I butcher names and I have a difficult name myself, so you would think I would learn. That is just too cute. I love that. And thank you so much for the Christmas card. It will go up with all of our other Christmas cards. Thank you. Thank you. Now, new in the shop. I wanted to show y'all this. This is a pick bag. And this is what we use in the shop when we have orders. And you place an order. And people in the shop go through the shop. And pick the things so we have an invoice in our hand we pick the things that you have ordered on that invoice and we put them in pick bags then the pick bag with the invoice and all the goodies is put in a different department in the shop and then it is ready for uh, packaging and weighing and then after it is packaged and weighed the invoice is put on the outside of it with the weight on it and it goes to um, the shipping as far as making the label uh, department in the shop and then your label is made and then someone gets it from that person <laughs> and puts the label on tapes up the package and it's ready for the vehicle to go to the post office so I wanted to give y'all that little tidbit of information about scrapbookingwithme.com and it is a mom and pop shop it is not a manufacturer it is not some big box store we are a mom and pop shop and we appreciate your business so so much all right so here are some things that are new in the shop so we had and you're i, I know you're, you're like uh you have the oils in your hand those are not new what I'm about to show you is new. We have some doilies that were left over from a kit. And we have all kinds of different sizes. Most are five and a half, six, and six and a half inch. And so we have put some packages together. Little bundles of doilies. And they're very inexpensive, y'all. So you get ten five and a half inch 10 6 inch and 10 6 and a half inch so 30 doilies all together and they are a special listing under the doilies category on our website um, if you wanted to have like a variety pack of doilies uh, that is a good 30 pack it lasts you a good long while and i think they're like 2.99 or 2.69 or something like that so very inexpensive so we wanted to pass those along to y'all um, because we had a big pile of them. All right. And for anybody that has not seen these, mom might have showed these this in a um, video before already. But I wanted to show you we have a new Tim Holtz or new to our shop Tim Holtz um, stamp set. And it is the Ledger Script stamp set. So it's got this nice little print. It would make great, um, like for 
uh, collaging or master board or even if you're making pockets and you want to put something down um, and it's kind of plain your cardstock is plain stamp that right on it very very pretty or um, like stamp on one big uh, piece of cardstock or something and then cut it up and have different um, looking ephemera pieces so there was that one and here is the other I just love these types of stamps I love script anything and these make great backgrounds for our ephemera pieces for a journal so I wanted to show y'all that and I'll put that back in the package later we have the brand new uh, collection from Stamperia. It is A L C H E M Y and it is um, pronounced Alchemy, I think is the way it's pronounced. Alchemy. Oh, I don't know. Um, I don't need to know the pronunciation. I've looked it up on Google and now I still forget. So, no need to, to correct me. <laughs> We're good. Alright, and so I'm going to show you what it looked like. We have, this is the 8x8. We have the rice paper that's the four cards. So rice paper is kind of like tissue paper. It's kind of like mulberry paper. This is the script one. And then this is the two owls one. And we have more coming. Uh, the manufacturer was back ordered on some of it, so... We do have more of this coming, but that's the three rice papers that goes along with it that would make for great collaging and stuff. And now I will attempt to get this open because Stamperia obviously doesn't want me to get it open because it's so glued. Hold on. Whew. Had to get my muscles out for that one. Gracious. Okay. So, Al Alchemy or Alchemy, this is what this <laughs> collection looks like. So, you know that Mother did not pick this collection out to have it available in the shop because it has owls all throughout it. <laughs> but it is a very, very pretty collection. See, so that reminds me of some Tim Holtz stuff. Those would be wonderful little word labels. Very, very pretty. Love that collage. So cute. The little owl, it's it's holding like a playing card. Too cute. Very, very pretty collection. And see, that one looks like the rice paper. And there's more cards. I like that this paper has some cut aparts on the other side. So if you don't particularly love one of the patterns, you've got some stuff you can cut out on the other side. So very cute love this little collection um, when I saw it available on the um, our manufacturer's website I thought I know quite a few ladies that will love well, and gentlemen that will love <laughs> that will love that collection so I got that ordered and it is in the shop and like I said more is on its way uh, we're just waiting on them to ship that from their back order okay and then something that a lot of you have been waiting on and that is the Tim Holtz worn wallpaper scraps collection and um, when we first had these I didn't get a one because they sold out so quickly second shipment I still didn't get a one because they sold out so quickly and then they've been on back order since I want to say July so we finally got them back in so worn wallpaper scraps we have quite a few of them now if you grab them up quickly I will try my best to get some more ordered but there are these beautiful sketch like floral die cuts in here that are just gorgeous and would go with any journal you make these would be beautiful cards too oh so pretty love 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 this there's all the die cuts just going to go through it pretty quickly so you can see some of them might be repeat but i don't know they're very unique looking oh look at that little scalloped one 
pretty. Okay. Oh, there's a big scallop. And then you get two little off-cut strips. And then all of these sheets. And this is very kind of wallpaper feel to it. It's just got that little bit of texture to it. But um, mm, these are beautiful. So here's patterns on those. And these are, does he say on the packaging before I get my ruler out? Yes. Uh, let's see. 5 inches by 8 inches. So 5 by 8 sheets. What these are. Oh, that is so cool how those feel. I love that texture. Very pretty. So anyways, we have these back in stock. Finally, as Erin Jonas says, finally have them back in stock. After a long, long hiatus, <laughs> uh, I guess the manufacturer just didn't have, I don't know, you hear that? I guess maybe they didn't have that texture of paper to print on one or something. I don't know, you know, it's been crazy as far as shipping and getting things in stock and stuff like that, so... Who knows why it took so long for that to get back in stock. But anyways, they're back and um, go and order them. And it, like I said, if you order them really quickly and they get gone, I will try my best to order more. Um, we also have in stock my next two vintage photo favorite of the Distress Ink. And we have not had the Oxide before and this is the walnut stain we have it the walnut stain oxide spray we have the walnut stain oxide pad and we have the re-inker so if you love walnut stain as much as i do and yes everybody loves vintage photo i love vintage photo i already have my oxide in vintage photo but i didn't have it in walnut stain so we have the regular walnut stain distress ink, and then we have the oxide walnut stain distress ink. So go and grab that. I'm looking forward to using that very much. Um, also, we have these dome tips, and I will show a picture of those. And we had quite a few that had requested those. So we will try to keep those in stock. We finally have the reusable flat foam replacements. So um, I will have a picture of that here. And those will be foam, just like these dome ones are. But they had been on back order like extinct. <laughs> forever and they finally come back in stock so we grabbed up quite a few of them so if you're running out of the flat ones you know that will actually stand up see these dome ones don't they do cover quite a bit of acreage when you're distressing and i like them but they don't stand up like the replacement flat foams do so we have those back in stock Finally, and I will leave you a link for all of that Tim Holtz stuff. Um, also, we have the meant to be used one time felts that go on the ends of the mini blending tool. And those are just used, and I've heard Tim himself say, those are just used to um, be used one time. The little felts, they don't have Velcro on the back of them. So if you have some at home, that um, you're using and they don't have felt on the back. They just kind of stick onto that Velcro there. Um, it's just meant to be used one and done. Um, so like for watercoloring or ink spraying, things like that, that really, really stain, you're going to use that felt. And in our website, it says on those um, one-time use or meant for one-time use or something like that. Then the flat ones and these are meant to be used over and over again and all of those have the 
Velcro on the back so they stick onto your mini blending tool very well. Uh, we still have some Baker's Twine uh, left in stock. If you need Baker's Twine, we have a little bit of seam binding. We haven't restocked on that, just seeing if we can get some new and exciting colors. So we hadn't really restocked, but we still have some Baker's Twine. Um, we had a big influx of ordering the dark orange baker's twine the other day for whatever reason i mean yards and yards and yards of it so i don't know what y'all are making with dark orange baker's twine let me know i want pictures <laughs> uh, so that is shop updates if you are in the market for some book rings to make you some ringed uh, either tag books or mini albums, things like that. We do keep these in stock, y'all. So just look for those on the website. This is the December e club kit. And I'm excited about this one because you get quite a few little things that we've never given before. Very excited. Okay, so you will get a pack of all different size um, jewels and they are pearl bling and I already have the adhesive on the back of it so you'll get a full pack of those you will get a versamark watermark stamp pad this is the mini you're going to get a versamark and you think okay well I got that what am I going to use it with you're going to get a full bottle of embossing powder too. This is white embossing powder. So what you're going to do is use the stamp that you get in your kit too. <laughs> Look at that. We thought of it all, y'all. Thought of it all. So you get a little stamp. You get your Versamark ink. And you get embossing powder. So you're going to need a hair dryer or a little heat tool. Okay, going to need a heat tool, and then you're going to stamp on your cardstock paper, whatever, with your embossing ink. So stamp, stamp, stamp on your paper, and then you're going to sprinkle this over your stamped image, and then you're going to get your paper, and you're going to go knock all of that off of your stamped image, and then you're going to use your heat tool to set that embossing powder. It is gorgeous. White embossing powder is my favorite ever of all time. Uh, second only to iridescent. And that's white too, but it just has a little bit of sparkle in it. But white embossing powder, you get a Versamark mini inker, and, or ink pad, and a stamp. Now, everybody's not going to get the same stamp. You're going to get all kinds of different little stamps, but most of them have something to do with a branch or uh, leaves or something like that. So something that you can use over and over and over in all kinds of projects. Okay, you're going to get two sheets of cardstock as usual. So you get a cream kind of oatmeal color and then... Um, what do they call this one? The Caribbean Breeze. So you're going to get Caribbean Breeze and Walnut Cream. That is your two colors of basil cardstock for this month. You're going to get a full sheet of little shimmery full snowflakes. That is just cute. Those are from Sticko. We love their stickers. We haven't given stickers in a long time in a kit. You are going to get two book pages. We decided that this needs to be something that you get a couple of times, maybe a few, maybe four or five times a year, because who does not love book pages, especially vintage book pages? We had some books that were going to be destroyed by a library, and we decided, nah, we'll take them. So we're using these book pages, and um, you're going to get the bounty from that because we're going to give you some book pages for a few months. I love, love old vintage book pages. So you get two book pages and then you get a wonderful sheet of tags and ephemera pieces from Miss Betty Ann Renfro for this um, kit. I love those images. She does an 
awesome job every month uh, that we need her for things. And um, that is just great. Uh, look at those little trees. How cute. Just love that. All right. Then you're going to get the Stamperia Winter Tales paper pad. And this is six by six, I believe. Let's see here. Let me make a sure. Yes. Six by six. All right. So, Stamperia Winter Tales. I mean, look at that, y'all. Look at all those little labels. Too cute. That fairy is adorable. I still haven't showed you this. Hold on. Reindeer. I mean, it doesn't have a specific... Oh, this is a Christmas kit. Um, it has more of a winter theme. So, we thought that you would enjoy that. Last uh, month, November's kit was a little more... Christmassy theme, but this one is more of a winter thing. I just love this. It reminds me of the Disney movie Frozen. <laughs> Too cute. I love those little cards. White pointed, yeah. Mm, so pretty. Look at the little cabin in the woods. Far, far away. See? Reminds me of Frozen. A little cardinal there uh, a blue jay sorry whatever it is <laughs> and a little winter theme with the trees more poinsettias little round um, labels and punch out pieces so pretty I just love this little collection and no you don't get as many pages in this but we thought Let's go ahead and offer this and then give them a few extra things. So instead of just getting a stamp with a few die cuts with your big fat paper pad, you're getting a few other things and full packs of a few other things and then things that go right along with each other. And you are going to get, you're either going to get silver or gold and both go with this collection. You're either going to get silver or gold flakes. So this is that um, metallic flake. And you're either going to get a pack that's got silver in it. Or you're going to get a pack that's got gold in it. I got one that has silver. And I want to show you real quickly. I'm going to get a little piece here. I'm going to get a little piece of... <laughs> book page okay I'm going to lay that down <laughs> if it'll let go of me and I'm going to get my little spatula I'm going to get a little bit let me move all of this so that you can just see the book page that I'm working on here okay so I've got that little piece there I see another little piece over here I'll put it off on there I'm going to get a little bit of glue right there. I mean, just the tiniest little drop of glue will work. And then you can add more as you go. And then I'm going to lay that flake down. And it just kind of dissolves into the glue. And then after it is dry you will get that shimmer back and then you get this great little effect of shimmer see it's not all dry so it's kind of looking a little white but it is silver and it will dry more silver let's do a little bit of heat to it there we go So there's a little bit of heat and so there now you can see all of that silver goodness on that so you have quite a few little things pretties to play with in this kit and we wanted to give you lots to play with and that is the advantage of getting a smaller paper pad we get to give you lots more little things in it to play with and I I'm really loving the flake. I'm loving. I love to emboss. 
So that was something that we did a lot of in the 90s and it's kind of went away. So we wanted to bring that back and see what you do with it. But mm, I just love that. And see, it's not coming off. It's there to stay. So you can just make it as little accents on your stuff. Mm, anybody that's getting the gold, can you imagine how pretty? Love, love, love. So we want to see what you make with your December e-club kit and I will be making something with mine very soon so be watching for that. Thank y'all so much for sticking around for this whole entire video. I know I have talked forever and ever but it's been all kinds of great wonderful things so I appreciate you sticking around and watching all of it and if you have any questions let me know. I will leave all the links in the description box below and we will see you in the next video. Have a great day. God bless. Bye y'all.